And thanks to Karen Lair for that report. Still with me, celebrity civil litigator John Phillips and trial attorney and celebrity family lawyer attorney Randy Kessler. I'm glad you both have some celebrity experience because I'm going <laughs> to use I'm going to use the term loosely, but I would imagine John that. You could consider Lori Vallow a celebrity of sorts. I mean, there's different ways to become a celebrity, but picking a jury in an instance like this has got to be extremely difficult. And, and we got to remember, they've, they've moved venues. Um, they're up in Ada County, far away from Fremont, where the, they were originally going to have the trial. Your thoughts on jury selection? It is going to be tough, right? And, and particularly what we see, if the national media, if the national uh, audience knows about it, the local audience is super lean forward, right? They, they, they're, they're paying way closer attention uh, in Idaho than we are potentially in Florida. So you, it is going to require a large panel to find those folks that just aren't tuned into court TV, right? That aren't necessarily reading the paper every day, and they exist. We find them all the time. But, you know, certainly her name is one that's that's been talked in all the water coolers and 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 you know farming villa, farming parts of town and all throughout Idaho. You know what's a problem, Randy, as well, when we talk about the notoriety or the celebrity, and again I use the term loosely of Lori Vallow, is that and, and I do want to say there was a, and you heard it there in the story by Karen, there was at least one juror who knew nothing about the case. So they're out there somewhere. Not everyone is following. That, that's the one. This stuff. That's the one that, who doesn't that's watch court the one, TV. Well, let me ask you, is that the one that you want? That's the one person who doesn't watch court TV. We know everyone else does. But is that I mean not it's a, it's a woman with children um and that was clearly a, a focus of some of the questioning uh, randy would you want someone with children who didn't know anything about the case you know if i go to court i feel like i've got a good case because if i have a good case the other side should settle and if the other side doesn't settle and i have to go to court i probably have a good case so i usually want a good juror an honest open-minded juror you know I don't know how these lawyers feel about their case. If they feel like they've got a bad case and they need some jurors that are going to be overly sympathetic, um, I would want a clean slate. I think if I was the uh, defense counsel, I'd want somebody who hasn't been biased because anybody who's heard that name, Laurie Ballow, and you use the term celebrity, maybe the word is high profile or, or well known or infamous, but anybody who's heard that name usually doesn't associate it with things that are good and positive, and that doesn't help the defense. So I think a new, new fresh person who doesn't know anything about her probably better for the defense. John, can there be anything good about a defense of a woman who is accused of killing her children? I mean, that when you when you look at the vitriol that this woman receives online, at the end of the day, that is probably, and we've seen this across the board in cases here on Court TV, when a woman is put in a position where she is on trial for something happening to her kids and she's the one accused of doing those things or allowing those things to happen, Gosh, I can't imagine that being a good case from any perspective. I, I can't either. And coming off the staunch, you know, situation too, it, it's these mothers that that are are supposed to be now fathers too, right? But the mothers that are the ultimate caretakers, and and to have your children be murdered and and be the murderer. It, it, it's it's one of those situations that's just unimaginable and unfathomable, and it's why jury selection is going to hit really hard at that at that parent child bond to see how how much am I going to be able to turn this person um, because you're also going to have testimony about a doomsday cult, right? So you're going to mix religion and faith and 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 spirituality in there too it's it's a toxic mix yeah and, and that's exactly my next point randy um not only do you have that situation you got the religious cults you got prophets you got this other guy who's a, wrote, wrote wrote a number of books and i'll be honest with you uh if i'm a defense attorney and i'm representing laurie i'm clearly going to say she was under the influence didn't know what was going on anything that i can she also has a brother out there who was probably involved in some way that they could easily point the finger at her but do you suspect she has to take the stand and we know there were competency issues so that could be a risk but she's clearly competent now if she's facing trial does she take the stand and have to tell her story about how she was confused or how she wasn't involved 
Well, there's a lot there to unpack. Now, she should be the victim, right? She's got to make herself into the victim of somebody else's influence. But how does she do that without testifying? Because all the affectations we've seen of her, the smiling, the answering questions inappropriately, the lack of the proper emotion, makes me scared to death to put her on the witness stand. You know, and as John, as John was saying, the jury is really not going to like a mother, you know, accused of murdering their child. But you could flip that, too, and say, you know, you don't have to prove that she really killed them. They just have to prove that she killed them. So the real question is, Maybe it's going to be harder. Maybe it's a harder burden to prove and convince 12 people that a mother would kill their own child. Fair enough. All right. Well, jury selection is continuing. It's expected to take all week. We'll be following it for you, and you'll be getting daily reports right here on Court TV. All right, gentlemen, stand by.